full steam ahead on the Bitcoin short squeeze. This is the scenario I was talking you through last week after we saw the multi-million dollar shorts opening up around $40,000. These were new shorts with open interest increases. Very aggressive shorts at the low. What will happen next? We moved on to form a failed auction of our range low, which confirmed a fake out of that range low. So what happened? We got the move down below $40,000, what we were looking for. At this point, a lot of people are getting bearish. A lot of new shorts are opening. Everybody's expecting a major crash. With those shorts opening, price goes on to reclaim the range low to confirm a failed auction, getting above the range value area low to confirm a short squeeze, really getting activated. And from there, it's a simple case of remain looking for higher. OK, I made that very clear in my last video about the short squeeze confirming the fake out and why we are bullish and looking for higher. It was, of course, last week and now here four days later, I remain bullish and I remain really understanding the local uptrend is intact. The millions of shorts that opened, they are getting squeezed. And for me, the target still remains that value area high zone. So that's the context that I gave to my team. OK, today, this morning. As we see now, a few hours later, continuation of this uptrend. For me, there is no surprise here. And I am remaining looking for higher and bullish locally. In this video, of course, I want to give you some even more context into this, the exact precise targets and why I am still not shorting yet. OK, so let's get straight into it. I hope that you thoroughly enjoy. <laughs> so let's add on our technical analysis. And we can see we have this major, major target coming up. And that's why I wanted to do this video for you all, because I really feel that this section right above us is absolutely key. This is coming up into our previous range point of control. As we all know, the theory reclaim value area low target value area high. Be aware of the previous range point of control for that turnaround. So this for me is absolutely key. And we are coming up very close to it now. That sits between $43,675 to $44,000. Okay, that sits on our previous range point of control. That sits on the monthly naked point of control. That sits on our weekly level. Some very nice confluence indeed. Okay, so that is what I am looking at next. Okay, after we, of course, formed the fake out of the bigger range low. This gave us our failed auction. If you saw my reply to Jim Cramer, you will know exactly that we were looking for this scenario. Uh, but thank you, Jim Cramer, for that. Uh, and what we're simply looking for next is, you know, I'm not shorting this. I didn't short when we hit the weekly naked point of control. You know, I've remained with that simple thesis of, OK, targets of value area high. As soon as we got back into the range, that was the target. Right. And from here, no shorts remain locally bullish, looking for higher. Could I take a short trade from higher? The answer is yes. But I want to see higher and I'm not going to get reeled into a short before I hit my next target. When we hit that next target above us, which I'm very confident we will do, what I do, as always, is make an informed trading decision. Do we get a bearish reaction off of here? Or do we simply get no bearish reaction, continued bullish strength, continue the short squeeze, and we move on to the next levels above us? OK, I'm a level to level trader. That has not changed. <laughs> and the next levels that I'm interested in, are, of course, coming up. If we get through that, you know what I'll be looking at next. And it will be towards the larger CC here. OK, you can see the 0.5, but I will be looking at this in terms of simply the CC there uh, up to the high of uh, $46,000. So what you can do really nicely is add on the 0.75 here, uh, which is a Fibonacci, which I'm going to just take off temporarily from here Add on the 0.75. And you can see this gives us the zone from the CC to the 0.75 with that um, bigger level, that, of course, that we have coming in at $46,000. So that would be our next zone above us. But it's kind of uh, level to level, right? We're looking, first of all, at the weekly naked point of control here, around 44,000. If we get through that, then we look towards 46K to the CC, right? And of course, if we get through that, then that really is looking strong. And I would be absolutely expecting a move above $50,000. If I'm totally honest with you, that is what I'd be looking at, a move above $50,000 towards our weekly. OK, so you can see the way that I trade, right? I am a, let me just make it so clear for you, level to level trader. OK, I come in, I do my technical analysis. 
With that technical analysis, I formulate plans ahead of time. I think about what the market is looking at, what the majority of people are expecting, and I generally go against the majority. I like to be the contrarian in that regard. So while everyone at this low was opening shorts, getting very bearish indeed, I was absolutely not <laughs> opening shorts down here because I recognized the potential of that short squeeze. Okay. And we moved on and got the reclaim, you know, this failed auction, fake out of range low is activating. Those shorts are slowly getting squeezed as we hit the weekly. I have now seen the weekly naked point control around 42,000, right? It's really clear. The target's higher. Why would I short yet when we haven't hit my major target, which still is above us? I've not got any bearish reaction, so I still think price is going higher. I got to remain patient, stick to my original plan and expect that to play out. OK, so I'm very formulated. I understand that this rally absolutely can end in a lower high for lower prices. And so I'm open to shorting this rally if I get the bearish reaction. If I do not get the bearish reaction, then I will simply continue to look for above $50,000. I get a bearish reaction at one of my major targets of course I will take that short trade and if you want to know when I take that short trade the first place you'll know of course is always going to be the champions membership package with that you get access to the discord you get access to the daily live streams every single day a live stream update every single day the plans laid out for the next trades coming up okay on top of that, you've got the whole educational library from apprentice beginners up to master waves, <laughs> up to master course with Elliott Waves. Right? You've got everything needed to absolutely learn everything about the market, how we formulate our plans, how we are reading the market and understanding we're going to be seeing short squeezes, how we're going to be remaining bullish. The reasons why everything that you need to know is taught in the theory in our course. So if you want to be trading alongside some of the best traders in the world right now, you know where to be, chartchampions.com. I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm going to say thank you ever so much. I truly hope that you were able to take advantage of some of the heads ups that I've been giving you in recent weeks and are profiting, of course, from our first rejection of $48,000 and now able to take advantage of this rally to the upside of this very nice local short squeeze so thank you once again everybody as always i'll read all the comments down below so leave some love and support uh, or or a negative comment if you're that so inclined i'll read everything i love you all nevertheless and have a brilliant day ahead cheers champions and i'll see you over inside of the discord thank you and goodbye